welcome back to the channel today we are going to swap out this cracked cluster lens on this 2009 Impala I'll show you what how to do it after the intro I have procured procured a new cluster lens and all we're gonna need is a seven millimeter and I got a little stubby screwdriver Phillips will work or if you have a seven millimeter that works too so first things first you're gonna want to grab your little sail panel and pull it out and then while you're at it tilt your steering wheel down and then do the same thing on the passenger side and this is where I say get the stubby screwdriver because you know if you don't have enough clearance to open your door you're gonna remove a screw here and the same on the other side you might not have room to get that big seven millimeter in there so here we go see how that doesn't quite fit luckily in the center of these screws there's a Phillips head And when you're done removing the screws, just put them in your console, in your cup holder. Now there are two up here. Same thing. Take both of these screws out. And when you get them out, place them in your cup holder. And don't forget this one over here on the passenger side. Now that we got that one out, you're just going to take this and just take it out. We'll get it to about here and we'll move over to the driver's side. So we got that just hanging there. Now we're back over here. We can start prying out the trim over from this side. I need to push down here. Sorry, I'm doing this single handed here. I think there's some clips here you gotta pull up. Yep, there's two clips there. And then she comes forward now. You can reach back behind here. And we're gonna disconnect the driver info center connector pinch and pull pinch there see I'm pinching right here pinch and pull and now she's out and don't forget to turn your hazards off if you accidentally take them off okay so now I'm gonna set this aside and I'm going to work on these little vents because one of these is broken and I think there's one over here should be simple enough oh I'm not even showing it we're gonna set that aside and now we're gonna focus on, there's a seven mil here, one there, one here, and one here. We're gonna take those you know, out. this is we're having this, the big seven millimeter. You might wanna go get a magnet. Cause these might not come out with this. See, I got that to drop so I can just reach in there and pick it up. You might drop it though, just be warned. Take these four out. One there, one there, one up here, and one right here. Take these four out. And now that the screws are extracted, you can just lift this thing. Might need to tilt the wheel down a little more. I think I got it all the way down, yeah. There we go. Get it free of these tabs. There's two tabs up at the top here. 
difficult to do one-handed. Sorry. See, I got it loose. We'll finagle it out of here one way or another. So I fought with it a little bit, but you can pry up a little bit on this dash pad to get these top tabs out, which is what I did. I got it forward like this. Now we're gonna look for the connector on the back, which is just right. <laughs> Come on, show it on the camera. It's right at the top there. So it's the same thing. Squeeze the tab at the top, pull the connector out. And now the cluster's out. Let's go bring it over to the bench. Oh, but before we do that, let's just take a look at the the dash here. What it looks like with everything out. So for this, you may need a screwdriver, but uh, I'm gonna go without just these little tabs. You just put some tension on here. And just go around the perimeter. Start at the top. And then, boom, there we go. That's what she looks like. This is a 2009 with the icons in the middle, like I showed you in one of my prior videos. And uh, hey, if you're thinking of maybe swapping over a gauge face from a Lucerne or a Monty SS or an Impala SS. I'd just say uh, push these needles all the way down, put some tape, mark where they go, pop them off, peel this off, slap the new one on, try to find the tape where you had these somehow, push the needles back on. We're going to take our replacement. I went and cleaned it up inside and out with some glass cleaner, made sure my smudges were all off. I'm just gonna go around, snap it back on. Try not to smudge it. That's pretty much it. It's all, it just snapped right in like nothing. So let's go put it back in the car. All right, so here we go. We're gonna just, uh, I'm gonna go in here and plug the uh, connector back in top I can get in there very well but click let's make sure she yeah, there we go all right so turn the hazards off so now this doing this single-handed again you're gonna want to lift up on this dash pad a little bit to snap that back in there which I'm gonna do two-handed Trust me, that's what you're gonna need to do. All right, just FYI, you can snap this dash up a little bit. It snaps, then you can get it in. Maybe that'll help you get it out, and then you can snap it back down, and we're good. So this time, I brought my uh, extendable magnet, and that's gonna help me get the screws back in the four spots here. So this is literally what I'm doing, putting it on the end of my magnet. And this thing's powerful enough that I can start spinning just to get them started. And then, you know, then I'll finish them with the seven millimeter. Did you get the gist? And there we go. We got our four back in there. Well, I was one for two on getting this. I got this one fixed. This one was just out of, one of these fins was just out of the little notches in there. This one, the one in the middle, doesn't turn. I, one of the tabs, one of the little fingers is busted off it. And it's a whole rigmarole to get that apart. I can't really super glue it back together because it's, where it's busted off, it's just gonna, it's just gonna glue the whole thing in place, so. I'll just take my chances with this one. I'll just have one little one that flops around, big deal. And I couldn't find any that were any good in the boneyard anyway. These things, they don't, you, I suppose you can take them off, 
but they're like glued in place. I suppose I could do that someday. Just melt these off, take that out. I could, yeah, but for now, we're just gonna throw it back in the car. On oh, this, oh man, there's one over here that's broke too. There's two of them on this one. <laughs> okay, well. All right then, so I got her quasi back in the car. Just, you gotta remember to grab your uh, driver info center plug and plug it back into the connector. Make sure you got it going the right way. Oh, there we go. All right. And then again, I'm doing this single-handedly. <laughs> Oh, and make sure both your doors are open. That helps. Because these things have to hang over the side. And you know, you'll hit your hazards. But these snap in here, snap this in, snap this in, snap all that in, snap the dash down. And we'll commence with putting those four screws back in, assuming you saved them all. Just remember you got one here, one here, one here, and one over there. Don't forget this one here. And take your sail panel. Make sure you got it going the right way. Line up the little tube. Snap her back in place, close the door, and don't forget the driver's side. Line up the clips, snap her back in, jump in, and enjoy a uh, job well done. So now you know how to remove and change your cluster lens on your 9th gen Impala. If you found this informational or educational or you enjoyed it in any way, support the channel, give me a thumbs up, drop me a subscription, ring the bell, check out my new videos. I try to post new videos every other Monday to keep the channel rolling. Help support me so I can keep uh, keep doing videos like this. I appreciate every Appreciate everybody that has subscribed and uh, everybody that comments. Thanks to all my regulars out there. You know who you are. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.